your expectations for the Riyadh membership chapter launch and how do you believe it will benefit the local business community? So I think uh, launching the Riyadh chapter will have a huge contribution in terms of pushing the agenda of governments in Riyadh and Saudi Arabia as a whole uh, as well. Um, starting in Riyadh, being Riyadh the hub of all the businesses and the establishment of corporations is the right, I think, move to do. And it will help us make sure that we create more sustainable uh, business economy in the country. So that's how I see it um, benefiting the country overall. As a Riyadh Joint Voice Chairperson, how do you see yourself contributing to the growth and development of this chapter? So as a Vice Chair and along with my member colleagues on the advisory board, I think um, we have a huge duty in terms of pushing the awareness of uh, the membership of GCCBDI and that's mainly to get the, the corporations um, here to really change the culture and the mindset from uh, just having policies and procedures and governance on paper to really being a way of life and a way of implementing business. So our role as the advisory board is to make sure we advocate for this, we increase the awareness across um, you know, our network, our personal networks, and to also uh, make sure we create that community of support. So that's how I see ourselves um, adding value. Where do you see the GCC BDI in five years? Well, um, I remember speaking to the team on GCC BDI when it first started, and um, I really do aspire, and I hope that I can see GCC BDI in five years reaching the, t the point where they are the leading governance body, uh, let's say the standard, the gold standard in terms of how governance is really made. So I want to see GCC BDI being the gold standard in that, and then possibly be. Um, uh, in a way, the go-to in terms of the training and the awareness and uh, developing boards across companies. So they I would like to see them be the, the core uh, of that movement. Thank you. No. Thank you.